Hey, it's Joy. I received the 2023 Big Tesla Holiday software update, or shall we call it a recall at this point? Anyway, jokes aside, I have been updated to FSD beta version 11.4.9, and per usual, I am going to take my car out on that weird intersection test route that I've been testing on for the last several months to see if there's any improvements or regression with FSD beta. Also, as a disclaimer, this is an outlier case. FSD beta works about 90% perfectly. So please do not take this video to represent the entire FSD software and its performance. So let's get to it. Let's see how V11.4.9 deals with um, that weird intersection at the traffic light after we turn right. In 500 feet, turn left so, to the Boulevard. It is green light right now. We'll see if um, now turn left onto we'll catch this Boulevard. light. Nope, we're gonna wait, and we're gonna be the first one in line. So this traffic light is gonna be a bit. Um, so I will talk a little bit about this uh, holiday update. My car is old now, it's over five years old, so I don't have a boom box. Um, one of the fun updates in this version is that you can change the horn sound to whatever sound you want, so I don't have that. However, there are um, cool improvements that I actually like which um, the, the, the one I like the most is that they now put use HOV lanes up here, this option, so that um, when I have passengers in the car, I no longer have to keep scrolling down because this was down at the bottom in order to toggle this on and off. So they made a change to make this uh, use HOV lanes toggle up above, which is very convenient, and I really like that. And now um, for emergency, they also can automatically call 911 if the car detects that the airbags have been deployed, which is a wonderful, wonderful safety feature. Um, there are also updates where you can now select different routes when you're navigating. If you don't want to get on this route, you can go to a different route um, based on the navigation, which is wonderful. So here we are. We're gonna make a left turn here, and um, there's another car coming from the opposite side, trying to make a left. And my car is actually like all the way blocking the halfway of the intersection, which is not cool. There are pedestrians on the side over here. And so now the car is hesitant, so I have to give it a nudge, but um, it did change the lane here correctly. Sans the nudge at the acceleration because there were no oncoming traffic once the pedestrians have passed or crossed and the car should have just detected and just go for it instead of being so hesitant on making that turn. So there has been a bit of improvement in terms of the turning, but it was still doing the 90 degree turn instead of a more natural, maybe 70 degree or even 60 degree turn so that the car from the oncoming side, the opposite side, also trying to make a left turn, they will have the space also to make that turn so that I'm not cutting in front of them. So this is something that Tesla needs to improve on. And uh, hopefully, again, someone is watching this video and uh, they will be able to um, correct this. Um, so now let's go ahead and do the return trip. 
and test the three left turning lane with a split of the right lane and see if the car will stay to the left and go onto the correct left turning lane instead of staying dead center and getting confused. Okay, now we're going back on this route on the opposite direction to test the three left turning lane and uh, see if the car will not be confused and it will pick the correct lane to stay on. All right, here we go. First test on this route, it's splitting into two lanes and we're supposed to stay to the left and it's, it was still pretty dead centered. Um, so this is still an improvement that I hope Tesla will work on, which is if you know the route coming up, you're supposed to come here instead of turning right, that the car will stick to the left side, even though the lane marking isn't all the way up here. And then we are entering into the three left turning lane location, but there are only two lanes marked and the third lane won't come up until later. So this is a very wide right lane. You see that, I don't know if you can see the lane marking here in the video, but it's all the way up ahead. And um, this time the car is uh, trying to stay in the center turning lane. Before, in previous iterations of um, FSD, it used to be confused. It will try to wiggle in and out. Um, but since the last couple of uh, updates, this has been pretty confident, which is a great improvement. Oh, there's a VinFast right here. Somebody's got a VinFast car right here. So now it's turning left, and this is a new feature as well, that uh, if you're trying to turn left and there's a car in your blind spot, the car will um, do a red shade shading. And But now there, FSD made a mistake. Like I said, there are three left turning lanes, and we were staying in the center left turning lane, and the signal was turning left. But the car went to the right lane without signaling to the right. So that was incorrect. And up ahead, we have a car parked um, in this lane. So it's blocking the traffic. And then we're going to see how FSD is going to get out of it because there are a lot of traffic coming up from behind. And um, this is... Uh, just not going to work. I'm going to be stuck here for a very long time, FSD. So again, route planning is a failure in this version. So it's not, um, it's not working well. And now I have to disengage and try to get around these parked cars. And I hope that somebody will let me through. Thank you so much. So this is, uh, actually today is a day before Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, so there's a lot of people out there shopping, doing last minute Christmas shopping. Um, so this is a perfect scenario to test FSD out in urban heavy traffic area and see if FSD can handle all these um, complexity. So this is actually the destination that I set to, but the car 200 feet out said that FSD was completed. And so it was sticking to the right lane, which was blocked and it couldn't get out of it. And I had to disengage and um, manually um, drive to the destination. So hopefully Tesla can fix that in upcoming software update. So second round of test and see how FSD is going to work on the same route in heavy traffic. All right. 
right. We're going to make a right turn. And there are no oncoming traffic, so yes, you can go. And then up ahead is that weird turn, and this time we're actually trailing a car at the red light. And we'll see how Beta is handling this intersection in this situation when we're trailing other cars instead of being the first one. Okay, the light just turned green. And, uh, ooh, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, so that was a fail. So we're supposed to turn left, but car was trying to go to the right lane for some odd reason. So I had to disengage and now there's phantom braking. And then, um, yeah, car is not turning left. So this intersection is still a failure. FSD still cannot handle this unprotected left turn weird intersection correctly. And this is the whole reason why every time there's a software update, I keep coming back to this intersection and test it out so that um, somebody at Tesla hopefully is watching these videos and they can figure out how to solve this problem. And also, this is an intersection that I travel on on a weekly basis outside of my testing. So this is not just some weird intersection that I come onto only when there's a software update. I do drive on this route regularly. Okay, round trip back for the second time to test out that three left turn intersection. And I've actually this time set the destination farther out to see how the car will behave with a destination that is slightly farther than the one that I set before. And Tesla still hasn't fixed, by the way, the stopping distance between my car and the car in front of me is still a full car's length, which is just way too much space in urban settings. So I hope Tesla can reduce it to like half a car distance like this. Um, so that um, I won't have too much gap between my car and the car in front of me. And car starting out really slowly. So I'm pressing on the acceleration pedal a little bit just to give it a nudge. And then um, here's the first test of the lane splitting into two. So this time it worked better. I think it's because there's only a couple of cars in front of me and uh, the traffic wasn't all the way backed up to where the camera couldn't see the lane marking of this lane actually dividing into two. So again, this has something to do with um, route integration and route planning that I've been saying in these videos that Tesla needs to do much, much better with is to anticipate the direction that the car is going so that it can stay to the left or to the right. Uh, same thing here, it's splitting up ahead, but um, the car is like staying dead center right now and I have a car coming up on the right that's just like really close. And this time the car chose to come to the right lane in order to do the left turn. And then we're going to encounter the same issue as last time where there are cars parked up ahead in this lane and it's going to be blocking the traffic. And there are a lot of cars lined up behind me. It's the holiday season, people are out. So we'll see how FSD beta is gonna get me out of this situation. All right, so car in front of me should be making a yep signal so here's the car that's blocked and thankfully this time this lane is like 
quite open, so that was fine. Um, and then the car just kind of went around without much issue, and um, here is my destination, El Pollo Loco. So this completes my test for FSD beta version 11.4.9. Well, unfortunately, FSD Beta V11.4.9 still has not solved that weird intersection problem. And this is why I keep coming back to test on that route so that one day soon, this car will make that perfect left turn. Well, thank you so much for coming along on this test ride with me. I will see you in the next video and Merry Christmas.